In this video, I'm going to be solving equations and their models side by side. These long bars will represent our unknown, or an x, and these individual boxes will represent a single unit. You can see in the setup here, three green bars is 3x, four red squares is negative four units. On the other side, two green bars represents the 2x, and three green squares represents the plus three units. When solving equations, we're trying to get the x all by itself on one side of the equation. And to that end, we'll be adding opposites to create zero pairs. And each time we add something to the equation, we must do it to both sides. In this example, I'm going to start by adding the opposite of 2x to both sides of the equation. Here you can see I've added two red bars to each side of the model. And on the equation side, I've subtracted 2x because subtracting 2x is adding the opposite. The positive and negative 2x cancel one another to make a zero pair on the right-hand side of the equation. On the left-hand side, two out of the three x's cancel, leaving a single remaining x. The negative four units on the left and positive three units on the right haven't been altered. So in the equation, they come straight down and are rewritten. One x is written simply as x. We don't need the one in front, it's implied. And zero x isn't anything at all, so we'll abandon it entirely, which means our equation is better written as x minus four is equal to three. And look at what's left in the model. We have one x and negative four units on the left side, x minus four, and positive three units on the right side, plus three. The last step is to get x all alone. Since there are negative four units on the left side with the x, we need to cancel those negative four units out. And we'll do so by adding the opposite, positive four, to both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side of the equation and in the model, the positive four units cancel with the negative four units. On the right-hand side, they add together for a total of seven units. So the negative and positive four make a zero, and the positive three and positive four on the right side make a seven. Adding zero changes nothing, so we just write the letter x on the left-hand side of the equation, and a seven on the right. So the answer to our equation ought to be x equals seven. Let's have a look at the model by erasing everything we scribbled out with our zero pairs. Now you can see for sure that our model reflects what we did with our equation. A single x is on the left and seven units are on the right. So the answer is x equals seven. Let's do another example. Here we'll solve negative four x minus one equal to two x minus 13. The left side of the equation is negative four x minus one. So we'll draw in four red bars and a single red unit. The right hand side of the equation is positive two x and negative 13. So we'll draw in two green bars and 13 red squares. Now we go about eliminating terms until we've got our x's alone on one side of the equation. It's always preferable to have positive x's instead of negative x's. So I'm going to cancel off the negative four x's on the left side of the equation by adding positive four x's to both sides. In our model, where we see a positive bar and a negative bar, we cancel them out because they make a zero pair. Four positives and four negatives make zero, leaving only a single negative unit on the left-hand side of the equation and in the model. On the right-hand side, nothing cancels, but instead the two x and the four x are added together for a total of six, and the negative 13 remain. So on the left-hand side of the equation, we have six x minus 13. Notice how what's left of our model matches what we've written in our equation exactly. We still want those x's all by themselves on one side of the equation, but we have these negative 13 units that are in the way. Well, how do you get rid of negative 13? Add the opposite, positive 13, to both sides of the equation and the model. Now that I've added the opposite, negative 13, which is positive 13, to both sides of the equation, I can cancel out any and all zero pairs. There's one on the left and 13 on the right. That leaves positive 12 on the left and six green bars, or only six x on the right. The last step is to pair off the bars on the right with the units on the left. I've redrawn my model to make this a little easier to see. With 12 units on the left and six bars on the right, you can pair off one bar with every two units. One bar, two units. One bar, two units. And so on until each bar and unit is accounted for. Effectively, what we've done is represent a division. Dividing both sides of our equation by six is the last thing we need to do to get our answer. X is equal to two. Here's one last example, beginning with the model. We have a single green bar and four red squares on the left side of the equation. The green bar represents a single x, and the four red squares represent minus four. On the right side of the equation, we have three green bars and no units of any kind. So we represent the three green bars with three x. We'd like to get the x's alone on one side of the equation or the other, and the easiest way to do that in this case, is to eliminate a single x from both sides of the equation. By adding a negative x to both sides, on each side, one green bar cancels with one red bar, leaving negative four units on the left and positive two x on the right. And again, we're in a position to pair off bars with units. Every one bar on the right goes with two negative units on the left. So division by two is our final step. x is equal to negative two.